Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about a very interesting problem that we got from Singapore Mass Olympiad 2013. In this problem, we are working with the floor function. Remember, floor of x for a real number x is going to be the greatest integer less than or equal to x. Here, in the expression that we want to evaluate, we have multiple terms. Each term includes some subterms. For the first term, we only have one subterm, which is floor of 1 over 1. For the second term, we have two subterms. It includes floor of 1 over 2 plus floor of 2 over 2. We want to evaluate this expression. However, we want to evaluate this expression up to the 2013th term. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about the problem. Before talking about the solution, let's expand the expression that we have. In the expression, we have floor of 1 over 1. And then we move to floor of 1 over 2 plus floor of 2 over 2. So in total, we have two new terms. Then we move to floor of 1 over 3 plus floor of 2 over 3 plus floor of 3 over 3. And based on that, we are adding three new terms. In general, when the denominator inside the floor operator is k, we are going to have k terms. Based on the discussion that we had, we can count the number of terms that we are going to have if we start with floor of 1 over 1 and then we end up with floor of k over k. It's going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to k minus 1 and then at the end plus k. So in total we are going to have k times k plus 1 over 2 for the total number of terms that we can have if we start from floor of 1 over 1 and end with floor of k over k. Since we are asked to evaluate the expression up to the 2013th term, we first need to understand what value we are going to have for the 2013th term. We know that the total number of terms that we can have if we ended up with k over k is going to be k times k plus 1 over 2. We want to have 2013 terms in the expression. So we need to find what value we are going to have for the denominator inside the floor operator to be able to have 2013 terms in the whole expression. If we solve the equation, which is basically k times k plus 1 over 2 is equal to 2013, we cannot find an integer number for k. So we are going to pick the nearest term to this value, which is 62. If we use 62, it turns out that we are going to have 1953 total terms, which is less than 2013. So we need to add more terms to be able to reach to 2013. But how many terms should we add to reach to 2013? It's going to be 16 new terms. The first new term that we need to add is floor of 1 over 63. And the last term that we need to add is floor of 60 over 63. So basically, floor of 60 over 63 is our 2013th term. With that, we have the whole expression that we need to evaluate. From here, it's a straightforward. Remember, floor of x is the greatest integer less than or equal to x. So floor of k over k is just 1. And floor of r over k for r less than k and greater than or equal to 1 is just 0. Many of these terms are going to be just 0 and others are going to be 1. In total, we have 62 terms with value 1. So sum is going to be 62 and that's our answer. To wrap up, let's summarize what we've done. 
we wanted to evaluate the expression that we have but we wanted to evaluate it up to the 2013 step since we don't know what the 2013 term is, we need to find it out. To be able to find the 2013 term, we wanted to find how many terms we are going to have if we increase k from 1 to 2 to 3 and so on and so forth. We could find the total number of terms that we can have if we start from floor of 1 over 1 and then end up with floor of k over k. We used it to find what term we are going to have for the 2013 step. Based on that, we wrote the whole expression again and then we evaluated each term individually. Based on the value that we have for each term, we calculated the sum. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and mass involved activities, Please subscribe to the channel.